Good morning from me and my sheep friends. They're so funny. I love the boy sheep. Uh, it's quite cloudy, but it shouldn't rain today and it's our final day here in Lancashire and we're going to go down to Liverpool. Hello Phoebe. So we're going to go down to Liverpool for the day because it's not raining today. We didn't fancy it yesterday when it might have been raining. We're going to see what we can find. We're going to find some Beatles stuff because both the girls are fans of the Beatles. Dan's a big Liverpool football club fan. And sadly, Arsenal's the best. Lily, uh, Phoebe supports Arsenal. And yeah, we're going to once again, I feel like I say, say this at the beginning of every day, but we're going to see where the day takes us. It begins with sheep. <laughs> we walk in like this now. We're so. going to walk like this all day. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're here! First stop on my map. The Cavern Club. The Cavern Club. No, Silla. 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 our last night so I didn't pick the camera up when we were leaving um, Liverpool because well a, 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 a day in the city is tiring just sitting on a drain lid in front of a, um, a downpipe to talk to you <laughs> it's, it's really silly because the view behind me is amazing I wonder if I could turn around hang on there we go <laughs> You can see a bit more of the view now. That's better than a brick wall, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I didn't pick up the camera because we were trying to find things that we wanted to see. We didn't see the liver building. We did go down to the docks. We had a real, the cavern was amazing. They just play live music all day. Phoebe was free to get in. The rest of us were a fiver. Um, no, Dan and I were a fiver. Lilia was two pounds 50. And then obviously you have to pay for drinks and stuff when you're in there. So I had uh, a couple of drinks, so did Dan and girls, and we looked at all the memorabilia, and we listened to the fantastic music, and we stayed for a couple of hours, which was really unexpected. Uh, we really enjoyed it, and it was brilliant for Lilia, because she's such a fan of music from that era. And yeah, it was really, really good. Then we stopped at Anfield, and Dan accidentally hit something coming out of the car park. One of the barriers was just really close, and the wing mirror fell off, as in, it flipped shut but the mirror bit fell out and it's actually broken so we're gonna to have to get it fixed we had to go and get some duct tape and tape it on <laughs> not not the best when you've got a five hour drive home the next day but it is secure and we can use it and now it's Friday and Friday night as you all know by now is pizza night so we bought some pizzas and Aldi's and we're gonna try and use up some of the leftover veg and stuff that we've got to go with it I'm gonna put a load of tomatoes and some spinach from our bag of salad on mine. 
got an audience. The boy sheep are watching me. They are so funny. They're like half sheep, half cow. And they stare at you and stare at you. And if you go near them, they just panic and run away. So we go and try and approach them. I'm approaching you, male sheep. Oh, pigeon flew past them, they were panicked. Don't worry, I'm not a pigeon, I come in peace. I come in peace. Hello. No, they've all grouped together, they are not happy. Oh, oh, looking horns over there. Meanwhile, the girl sheep couldn't give her monkeys. Bye bye, view. It's been nice looking at you for a week. <laughs> Goodbye cottage. Goodbye cow. All clean. It's like we were never here. Yes. It's Saturday the 20th of August and we're going home. Boo. But we'll be sleeping in our own bed. Yay! <laughs> and there'll be less flies because we won't be living next to a farm. So we've written in the guest book, we've left it clean and tidy, and we've got some recycling to drop off on our way past Sainsbury's. And it's time to start our long road journey home. Are you ready to go home, girls? Yeah. yeah. Welcome break services where we sit over the motorway. I ordered a salad from KFC and this is what they gave me to eat it with. <laughs> angry, angry, angry at KFC. I had to go to chopsticks to get a wooden fork. But the salad is nice, you just can't eat it with a teaspoon. Well, not as nice as rugby services, but. Okay. But very passable. We got to eat lunch. So we had, yes, we had a nice view of the traffic <laughs> and <laughs> and a nice lunch, even though it cost a fortune. Twenty-three pounds for KFC. I'm gonna jump back in the car now for the final two hours.
were at Toddington Services on the M1. Everyone needed a wee except for me. So we were about an hour and 20 minutes from home. Um, so they've all gone in and I'm sitting eating minstrels in the car. I've been knitting away on my litmus cow. So I've got a, a few colours on here, which I, I'm sure I will be talking about in detail on my next knitting and crochet podcast. And I'm just like, my brain is just starting to get back into the usual worries of being at home, which is annoying. There's a couple, there's an older couple, fast asleep, like proper fast asleep, mouths wide open with their seats right back in the car next to us. And it's not even like they're parked in like a little hideaway bit of the car park. It's like right in the middle of it. It's funny what you see at service stations. Cat. Can you give her a hug? I'm, yeah. like, I'm on my hay fever tablet, so it's okay. Oh, we've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Hey, pigs. We've come back to not one, but two cucumbers. My pear drop uh, yellow tomatoes have been ripening as well. I've just picked a load. That one's ready as well. I'm really looking forward to trying these. One sunflower has grown an extra flower, and the smaller sunflower is now towering. Grapes are all coming along nicely. Let's see if they're sweet yet. They are sweet. Mm. The pumpkin patch <laughs> is taking over. So I've now got lots of flowers. What do I do? Do I top it out now while it's got flowers on it? Or... So I wait until they turn into pumpkins. What do I do? Does anybody know? I'm going to give them a bit of straw to make them. Only a little bit because they don't need too much at this time of year. And, exciting, my three pound dahlia has produced its first flower. And it's got quite a few more waiting to... Come out. Susan. Hi Susan. You've been keeping an eye on things. We are home. We are reunited with our chickens, the cat that's not our cat, and our blooming garden. And uh, not as in our blooming garden, <laughs> but as in the garden that has been blooming whilst we've, we've been away. So it's obviously been enjoying the rain uh, that we finally got. It was so weird coming as we travelled south we could see the trees that loads of the trees are really crispy and brown they look it looks like they they've had an early autumn almost I hope they're not dead I hope it's just that they've kind of I don't know retreated within <laughs> to like preserve themselves and the grass you know is all it's not green it's really weird sort of travelling down and seeing just in the, the course of like four hours how different it is so we are back to the south and back to our lovely little house and we're gonna we're all pooped so we're just gonna really take it easy we've done a little bit of unpacking put a load of washing on that kind of thing but nothing strenuous the rest of it we'll do tomorrow unpacking's easier than packing isn't it yes <laughs> Chickens have had a bit of a bock about the garden to stretch their legs and we've given them some a lovely selection of vegetables and some leftover grapes from our journey. So they were very happy with that. And yeah, we're just gonna chill out, have some dinner, finish off some of the wine that we brought back with us and just generally have a lovely, uh, peaceful, hopefully, Saturday night. Oh, 
the sun is streaming through my bedroom windows and I cleaned them before we left. I'm just looking at them thinking I, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> can see every single little streak. That'll be a job for when the kids are back at school. So this coming week will be all about preparation for the coming school year. Lilia will get her GCSE exam results on Thursday. So there's a lot of nerves around that and then she'll have an induction for college and we need to go and get uniform bits and school shoes for Phoebe and it's going to be a really uh, another sort of transitional week which is weird after sort of having a really lovely break away from everything uh, but that's how it goes with holidays isn't it so lots lots to look forward to lots to get excited about and I hope you've enjoyed watching these vlogs so thank you for coming coming along with us and I'll see you again in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know where you've been on holiday this year uh, or where you're dreaming of going if you haven't been able to get away. Because we've had those years as well where we just haven't been able to go on holiday either for physical reasons or financial or whatever. So I hope you've, if you haven't been able to get away, God, I'm wearing on now, aren't I? But if you haven't been get, able to get away, I hope you've enjoyed our little getaway as a... To, to keep you going. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. I'm too tired to be talking. We'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye.